What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some market talk. We're going to go over insane MT making methods, all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash the sub button, drop the like, and all that good stuff. That would be greatly appreciated, guys. Please smash the like button, man. You will not regret it. We are on the road to 11.5K. Once we do it, 11.5K. 100k MT giveaway on Twitter. We're also on Twitter and Instagram selling MT. So if you guys need MT, man, make sure to hit me up. We got a ton of MT in stock, so let me know, man. But yeah, today, guys, we're going to go over the market. We're going to go over some prices that are royals, some prices that are crashed. We're going to go everything. So let's get into it. So today, guys, um, we're going to look at the prime set, especially because there's a lot to be talking about, man. Paul Jordan, 648k. I don't even know how I pulled him, man. I still, I pulled him. Uh, if you didn't see the pack opening video, make sure to go watch it. But yo, if you guys sold, if you guys should, you guys should definitely sell your Lamar Odoms and Luka Doncic's because their values are up pretty much. Uh, they're up a lot. So if you guys didn't, I would definitely recommend doing so because right now is a great time to sell Luka, Paul George, whatever. Well, you should sell this whole set if you're not planning on doing the Prime set. Definitely a good time to do so. Let's look at Eddie Curry, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's see if his price did drop because, man, this card is so rare. Everybody in the world wants Eddie Curry, man. He's at 80K. If you guys invested him at 45K like I told you to, you made so much MT. If you bought 10, man, you doubled your profit. If you listen to me, if you didn't listen to me, man, it's, it's an L. But, yeah, Eddie Curry's up a lot, too. Um, prime set expected. I'm thinking we get a Kawhi as well. I don't know what the mystery player is going to be, but oh my goodness, man. This set is so expensive. This set's way over a mil already with these three players. So if you guys have them, I would sell them. I'm looking to do the prime set three. I got all these cards for the low. I got Paul George for around 150k off pack, so that's a W. I got Luka for around 160, and I got Lamar around 250, and I kept all of them. Because, yeah, I'm trying to go 12-0. and 0. It's almost impossible because not every single person you verse is Glenn Rice. So, uh, yeah, Glenn Rice, man. The hardest, hardest, hardest. This is the hardest 12-0 and 0 ever, man. I went 9-0, and 0, lost to a sweat. My controller's so broken. I went to Walmart, Target, Amazon, and still, still, they don't have remotes. I ordered it off Amazon weeks ago. Still hasn't came in. So, waiting for a remote so I could finally play. My RB's messed up. My LB's messed up. It ruins my game. But, yeah. Let's get it to some market. Let's go over pricing, man. All right. So, I heard Sean Kemp's actually worked it. I think for 150K, man, this card is super underrated. 6'10". He's a great power forward. He has an amazing speed. 95, 3, 93 speed with ball. This card's AD in disguise, to be completely honest. Yeah, he doesn't have all the badges that AD does. But, he pretty much does, man. This is a very good card. He has range extender, cold, oh, clamps, quick draw. This card is very good. I might have to pick him up myself. He's an athletic power forward that you guys definitely want. Now, let's go over a lot of things. So, y'all, yesterday, there was a ton of mystery packs. I know that. The mystery packs, man. If you guys got the mystery packs, I heard there was Aaron Gordon in there, Dirk Nowitzki. Um, there was a lot of players in there. So, let's look at Dirk's price. Aaron Gordon as well. So, I think I said that already. But, yo. Dirk Nowitzki is going to be stupid cheap, man. This Opal Dirk, I might have to pick him up. Even though, yeah, he's not the best card. It's still a Galaxy Opal Dirk Nowitzki. And you know I love Dirk. I love Dirk, man. But, uh, yeah, Dirk Nowitzki, man. I honestly think he might be a scoop. I think for 70K, man, he's a definite scoop. Yeah, he doesn't have the dynamic duo about his shooting guard one does or the powerful, whatever it is. The other one, Dirk Nowitzki, uh, Hall of Fame, Galaxy Opal, I can't even speak. But, yeah, man, I feel like this Dirk... Might be worth sniping. I think someone's going to pull him out of the mystery packs. So, yeah. Definitely try sniping Dirk, man. Definitely try sniping out some of these spotlight sim cards. We're going to go over the spotlight sim filter in this video, too. And let's just check out the pink diamond filter before we do. Because there's a lot to be doing, man. There's so many cheap pink diamonds at this stage with that new locker code and stuff. So, let's see what we got going on. Let's see. So, pink diamonds. This is a very good snipe filter to make MT. There's so many pink diamonds that go for so much MT. So I would definitely hop on the Pink Diamond Snipe Filter. I would probably enable out Jared Dudley and uh, Rod Strickland. 
But yeah, man, this night filter is nice. Uh, I would definitely recommend you guys try it. Definitely continue to work your butt off to get my boy over here. You're going to get a lot of snipes on this filter. Definitely recommend this night filter. Let's get into the next filter, man. Let's get into the spotlight sim filter because this one, no one ever... If you know how to filter out the spotlight sim filter, no one ever goes on this filter, man. I'm telling you right now, it is the most underrated filter in the game. Nobody pays attention to it. Um, I'm going to say go pink diamond. This filter is absolutely amazing. Justice Winslow. You can snipe out so many cars in this, on this filter. I'm telling you right now, man, the pink diamond spotlight sim filter, very underrated. I'm going to enable out Jared Dudley right here. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Yeah, look at this, man. Look at this filter, dude. It's crazy. It's literally insane. So this filter is going to go off. I promise you guys, try it out. There's a lot to be doing right now. This filter is going to make you thousands, thousands, and thousands of MT. Let's get into some other filters, man. The diamond filter has been absolutely amazing. Let's see, man. Um, also, like I said, shout out to I forgot who, but some of my subs were saying the moments of the week. Oh, right there. No, I missed it. Oh, we got him. So as you can see, I just got KD for a K. That's like 1,500 profit right there. I'm telling you, man, Diamond Filter is going to be deadly. I promise all of you, man. Put your maximum bid over it and just continue to snipe. They will be Diamond Snipes like crazy. You can make 4 to 5K off each snipe. You can make 1K off each snipe. You just got a somewhat no pricing. But yeah, definitely Diamond Filter is going to be the most exciting filter because, you know, stuff's going to pop up a lot. But yo... Like I was saying, man, my sub, I forgot who you are, but he said he was making so much money on selling moments of the week cards, guys. The moments of the week cards, man, I cannot stress this enough. Look at the prices. On Ruby, Sapphire, moments of the week cards, they have rarity. I'm telling you, man, right now, since getting towards Endgame, everybody's trying to collect Galaxy Oval AD. There's a million cards that you can now buy for galaxy oval ad and everybody is going to try and do it so please i'm telling you right now man get on the moments of the week filter get on moments of the week whatever any moments cards man they're outdated yeah people need them for collector level people are trying to do some of these collections who knows why but yo i sold every single moment of the week card i could sold and look at all the mt i have man i also got ad so i'm trying to sell all those cards i still have a ton of cards to sell i have 2400 cards in my collection where are they? I don't even know. Like, I have no idea. I know some of them come from here. Some of them come from here. And then, like, other... I literally have nothing, like, valuable in these collections. Like, as you can see. But, yeah, man. Going through your collections. If you have, like, a lot of collectors. And also, for people who have, like, 2,000 cards and 2,200 cards, you still need, like, another 6 mil MT to get AD. So, if you need MT, make sure to hit me up. But, like, seriously... Saying this right now, man. I'm telling you. If you have 20, 000, 2,000 cards, 2,200 cards... You still need thousands and millions of MT to get Galaxy Oval AD. It's not as easy as possible, bro. It's very hard, but I'm telling you, this is exactly why I say moments of the week cards are very valuable. You could also snipe a ton of these, man. I'm telling you, if I get this Wiggins for 1K or 2K, I could sell them for 7.5 in at least an hour. I'm telling you, Sapphire Consex and 6K. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's so many methods right now. And also, today, we should look at this Sapphire for 15.9. Today. We should be seeing creator locker codes. I don't know when they drop, but hopefully they drop soon because I want to post some videos on them. A nice locker code. That would be cool. Um, this, this collection for Levine has been so expensive the whole entire year. So if you have any cards for Mr. Levine, make sure to go sell it. It's crazy. But honestly, we're going to end off this video with some packs. Um, pretty much, man, you could sell your cards if you want. I would sell your cards tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to end this video off with some packs. Just to show you how bad the odds are, I just got really lucky yesterday. If you guys didn't see my best pack opening ever, make sure to go check it out. And honestly, we're going to end off this video with the Paul George reaction, man. That was the best. That was just a goaded pull, man. So, oh, okay. We got that way. So, we'll be back. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. We're going to end it off with the Paul George reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace. No, no, no. Right when we get off recording. Right when we get off recording. Right when we get off recording. Oh. Paul George, please. Oh my god! Oh, let's go! Let's go!